Alright, hello everyone, my name is Haven, and today I'm playing a game called The Hospital. Alright, so we know how hospi scary hospitals can be, to a degree. I mean, I guess they're not necessarily scary. I guess it depends on who you are. I mean, and I guess it also depends on which hospital you go to. Because some hospitals can look creepy, and then others look just, like, phenomenal. And I think the ones we have around here are just are pretty standard, so it kind of borderlines creepy in a way but i guess we're gonna be in the hospital so we're gonna jump right into this considering those a resume option makes me think this is gonna be a pretty long i wouldn't say long but a decent length game jump right into this of course best experience with headphones kids wear your headphones i want to turn it up a bit so i can see i know that I don't want to go all the way up. We're right there. I mean, I can obviously see Crux on the door, but... I want to be able to make sure I can CC it so you can... I don't want to say that like I think I played this. When the virus got me, I was hoping I would be among the majority who only got mild symptoms and recover quickly. But my condition grew worse day by day. I checked into the, this hospital last week, barely able to breathe. I paid a lot to get a private room, and I was lucky they managed to find one. There were no vacant rooms in hospitals across the country, as the pandemic wreaks havoc. It's pandemonium out there. Somebody sick, somebody dying. I feel like I've become a number, a statistic. That's how I felt when I got COVID. I was more a number than anything. I think I'm growing sicker. I feel faint and weak all the time. Yesterday, at night, they had to increase my oxygen intake. I heard them talking about ha having to put me under to intubate me if my condition got worse. What if I don't make it? It would be a horrible way to die alone in this room. I never believed in never believed in God or in heaven or in hell. I wonder what happens to a person after they die. I never really stopped to think about it until now. I guess I was too busy living life and chasing shadows to think about the death. Feeling weak, so weak. I think I'll sleep now. I can barely breathe. almost feels familiar but it might be because it probably mimics another game I played that involves a hospital I think if I'm correct bathroom door appears to be oh, I'm up how am I up on my feet I can't remember getting out of bed walk around yeah 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 I got you bathroom door appears to be locked so I think the reason the, re the reason I say this, this seems familiar. I think I played something like this. Maybe I haven't. I, I don't know. Maybe I've seen somebody playing it, and that's why it looks so familiar. But I think I played another hospital game. No, I think I've played this one before. This looks all too familiar. A person out there. Maybe a doctor. I need to find a way find out what's going on. Thing is, is if it's if it where is okay where is everybody? When I checked in here, these corridors were full of activity all day and night, filled with nurses and doctors and patients. But as I was saying, I th that like when I did my th or ugh, if I could speak when I did was doing my three scary games. Obviously, like I put the games in the description below in those videos. So like if you've played a game before, it's hard to really go back and check. Because I obviously I don't have a list of games that I have played. But I kind of use my YouTube channel as a way to categorize, basically, in a way. But because when I do three scary games, and there's three games together, it's hard to really, I guess, look up to see what videos you, or what games you played. I was not there before. Was it? I don't know. I, I was talking. So, I mean, if I have played this before, let me know. Because I have no idea. I mean, it looks familiar. It feels familiar. No luck. Didn't these doors open out to the lobby with elevators? That would have been my way out. Except it looks like I can't leave this way. I should probably find another way out. Yeah, this is familiar. Now, 
it might be the game might be called the hospital as well I'm not too sure but I think this is about a woman who died here oh, that's odd there's no room numbers on the door I'm pretty sure I'd seen room numbers when I checked in I don't know regardless if I played this or not if you guys haven't seen this this is your opportunity to see it I think this door opens. This one closes. Oh, I guess not. Or maybe it's up here. Are these patient ones? Why are they deserted? It's gotta be someone, a nurse or a doctor, who can help me tell me what's going on. Just said help tell me what's going on. What? Someone on the other side of the door? The store? It's like it. It knocked. Check my back. Check my back. Some budge. Check my back. Check my back. Okay. I think one of these doors ended up opening now. Maybe this one. I think we can go back through here, right? No, we can't. Okay. One of these doors has got to open now. What's the one? Oh, the door that had the knocking. This room looks just like the one I was in. It's a mess. It's almost like a shit stain. How awful. There's some kind of stain. I guess the bed wasn't clean after the last patient departed. Oh, I was like, what the fuck? Game froze. That figure. I think the sound came from out there. I think the girl that we're seeing, I believe she was a girlfriend or something. That figure that I saw on the TV reminded me of. It can't be. I must have been imagining things. I mean, that's why this whole thing is some lucid dream I'm having while my body lies in some kind of coma. Yeah, I think it's a girlfriend he had or something if I'm correct girlfriend or a friend I'm not too sure I mean, like I said this all seems so familiar hey there cutie I think we go through this door right I, don't know, I think we open, try to open this door I don't know I'm wrong clearly but I do remember this game, okay? I may be wrong about certain things that's been happening in this game. I think there ends up being a body on this. You too. Shut the door. There's no corpse there. This is a dream. It's growing increasingly disturbing. Well, if it's a dream, you can wake up. You can wake yourself up. Especially if it's a lucid dream. Let's be real here. If it's a lucid dream, you can wake yourself up. Is someone toying with me? Am I being led? The figure I saw. Why don't you go after her? How about this? Instead of just standing in there, it can't be her. This is a dream. A nightmare, rather. In which I'm trapped. How can it be her? Just stand in there and ask questions. How about you go chase after her? Oh. Is that on the floor? Before? I don't think so. Get here. I recognize this place. Furniture? The way they're arranged? It looks like the apartment where we used to live. Except everything looks abandoned and gone to rot. There's something on the table there. Oh hey! It can't be. It can't be her. I can't see her face, but I'd know her anywhere. How is this possible? She's been dead for four years. Yeah, is that you? I feel your silence. This is some monstrous dream. Memories of those horrific events of four years ago are coming back to me. The doubt and the guilt that has haunted me since. 
Would I have saved her life had I done things differently? Cost. I'm sorry for what happened, Mia. I called silent. What did she want? Dead. She wants you dead, actually. Mia? Am I going crazy? This is some fever dream seated by my past while my body lies wasting away on a hospital bed. Be the fever dream. Yeah. I remember this picture. We had taken it out by the beach just after yet another biter fight. Or bitter fight. Why did I say biter? Bitter fight. She was just 24, but by then she had already begun to show increasingly frightening signs of the mental illness that would later consume her. Erratic, violent shifts in temperament brooding silences, fixed stares, obsession with my whereabouts, self-harm. I tried to get her to get help. She refused. When it was clear she was becoming a danger to both of us. I ended our relationship. And then it got worse. A lot worse. The phone calls, the stalking, the threats. Finally, I woke up one night to find her standing over my bed, staring at me, her dark eyes empty and unreadable, her mouth stretched in a chilling grin. When I saw what she was holding in her hand. Interesting that you're uh, telling us the story. It's furniture, the couch, the tables, all props from a past I'd rather much forget. This is a dream. How does it all feel so real? I smell the rot of this place. Vile smell. This makes sense. This apartment. It was where she and I lived together before it all went to hell. This is looking like it's falling apart now. This is place. Maybe it's hell. If you would have seen Constantine, you would know. Hell looks just like Earth, but worse. Dead body. Dead body. Can we talk to the body? Who would abandon a dead body here? This bench here is terrible. I should move on. Well, considering you're not in a regular hospital, I think it doesn't matter why there's a dead body there. It's a bunch. Whoa. Nia, yeah, you need to stop playing with me. I'm gonna tell mommy. Oh. No comments? Comments. Which one are you moved? I hear the sounds of movement. Nia, yeah, you better stop your shit. Where? I think we're going back. Oh no, because I've never been through that last room. I can't say we're going backwards. It almost feels like we are. I bet you that's my room. On that night, four years ago, I woke up to find her standing over me. She was holding a knife. I watched. She raised it. Held it to her own throat. She said, I don't want to live without you. Or she could hurt herself. I leaped at her, grappled the, grappled the blade away, and subdued her until the authorities arrived. They put her away in an institute, a mental hospital. A week later, I got that terrible call. It's not your fault. You you did the right thing. I mean, I can't feel guilty for someone. Oh God, why did you do it? Why did you have to go like that? Tell me what you wrote on the note, your last words. <laughs> what for me, Nia? Did what I could. Why are you tormenting me? Right behind me. But yeah, I was just saying, you can't really, I mean, you can feel sorry for them for having, I can't move. 
for, you know, having this mental illness. But, like, when they're trying to... When they're acting like that, like, oh, I can't live without you, so I'm gonna kill... You know, if I can't have you, I'll kill myself, whatever, you know. Then it's manipulative, so... Yeah. What do you want from me? Think of that note you left. The last word you ever wrote. You wrote, I'm never gonna let you go. I know those words weren't were meant for me. Is that what this is about? That if I'd done things differently, perhaps been more compassionate, you might still be alive? Watch me wake up in the hospital. Oh, here I am. I can't move. I'm, I'm back in my room. How did I get here? Yeah. Do I dare go out there? What will I find? A bustling hospital? A smiling face is telling me I'm better and I can go home? Shadowy halls haunted by my past. Am I in a coma, trapped in a body that is wasting away while I suffer a fever dream born of guilt? Or am I dead? And is this my afterlife? These dread halls and a tormented soul stalking me for all eternity. So this was the hospital. Still as creepy as it was the first time I played it. If I did play it. If I'm not thinking that I played it and didn't actually play it. But this was the hospital. What do you guys think? You like it? I thought it was, the atmosphere was very creepy. And the, the lore, the lore was pretty good too, you know. It kind of ties in with what we're going on or what's going on right now, which is COVID, and it also has hints of mental illness and suicide. So it's it's a good stealing pot of crazy stuff going on. So with that, like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.